Here we have another not gaming review. This time I'm going to be reviewing a charger and it's a charger you can use whilst travelling. So this, this was a kind of new thing to me. So, you know, I've not been abroad for a while and when you do travelling in Europe, the plug connections are different over there and all around the world are different. So you have to buy an adapter. And I wasn't too keen on using one of my chargers that I would normally use, a 65 watt charger or possibly my Steam Deck charger, which is a 45 watt one and then plugging that into an adapter and then into a wall. It would make a charger quite long, well, not quite this long, but you know. Any extra bits you add on just are places where it could generate heat and potentially damage it. So I thought, these seem to be getting quite popular now, these universal travel adapters that are a, an adapter with a plug pass through and then some USB. So this is the second one I've ordered. I ordered a much cheaper one, one that cost about £16. My partner's going to use that, only charges it up to 20 watts and it feels very lightweight. Now this one is advertised as charging it up to 65 watts and it's gallium nitride, so we'll see. I can say it feels pretty chunky when I'm picking this up. Now the packaging is nothing to write home about. Apparently it's a big fish. You have a number of bits of specification on here and you can pause that if you want to read that a bit further. Now so far I have tested it a bit and it does appear to charge it up to 65 watts, so that's good news for me. And um, yeah, this was picked up on uh, Amazon. This cost about 35 to 38 pounds, something like that. Got a little bit of a discount on it. And I'd been hunting around for a while. There was a couple of different ones I had my eyes on. But the big fish won it through. So let's open up the box, see what it's like inside. And one of the things that I was presently surprised with is it comes in a little padded case, which I thought was... I can't get the thing out because it's so well packed, but it's in there. My goodness. I'll break that zip off trying to get it out. I had to push the back of the case just to get it to move a bit. It's so well packed in there. No extra packing materials. Just a little case, which actually looks pretty good. It certainly would protect it. And here's the charger, and as we know, these little shapes make things work more, more powerfully. More gamery, isn't it? And apparently it's a big fish. Now I could take a multiple inputs, or a multitude of inputs, which means, you know, it's handy in that I could use this in the UK and plug other adapters in. So I think there's a um, two prong there, which you can use for, you know, electric shavers or some um, adapters for electric toothbrushes. It's got the normal three pan, it's got other adapters for Europe. Now, and it's quite a slick looking thing, so here's your points at the back here. So it tells you on the side, EU, UK, US and Australia. So you can push that out and you get a two pin, which I think is the American one. You can turn those pins, so that becomes the Australian one. Slide it back. It won't slide back at that point, so you have to straighten them up again. And in fact, they can turn the other way as well. I suppose that's you can use it either way up. So straighten that up. I'll pull that back in at some point. We're going to go right straight before they'll go back in. Ah, now, that's actually a nice little safety feature. It doesn't pull straight back in. You can't just push it up and pull it back. You have to push, push it in to bring it back. I like that, that's nice. So then we've got the UK one, which I will actually use. I'm going to use this as a charger, not just a travel adapter. And as you see, it says 65 watts. It's got two USB-A sockets. One of them's a fast one and two USB-Cs, which should both be fast ones. It does apparently have a fuse and a spare fuse, so if you pop this off, there should be a fuse located in there. Yep, we can feel it coming out now. There you go. So that's actually quite a nice little feature. Some of these things are a little bit flaky. It's quite stiff to get out, but there you go. Just standard size 10 amp fuse. But it comes with a spare one, which is handy. So if you do accidentally overload it, it's not the end of the world. You'll have that spare fuse. You just have to be a bit more careful before you purchase some replacements. And it just clicks in there. Uh, yep, so I'm going to use the UK adapter mostly. So again, that doesn't pull back. That's good. So these aren't going to accidentally push in a bit and potentially cause issues. So that's a 65 watt charging brick for about 40 quid. So actually, that's pretty good as it comes. But better than that, I can now use it in Europe because it has a European adapter. So it should hopefully be 
110 volt capable as well as 240 like the UK and well in the US. It says here a maximum 10 amps, which is a maximum of 2500 watts, which is 2.5 kilowatts. Uh, anywhere from 100 to 250 volts. It's AC, EAC, which is the adapter point here. It doesn't convert voltage, so you know if you're going abroad and your, your product you're taking with you, certainly if you're from the UK, runs at 240 volts and you go away to Europe and you plug it into 110, it's either not going to work or it's, you know, if it's a hairdryer for example, it'll run at half speed. That's not really my, what I'm interested in. It's for indoor use only and do not use with appliances requiring a ground wire. Now, I'm curious why it says that because it has actually got, oh because it's just a, a blanking ground, so yeah. But, that would be for pass through. For USB-C and USB-A, this is going to come in extremely handy for me. So I'm planning on taking two, maybe three products. My son will be taking a couple of products. We'll be sharing this one charger when we're away. So I'll be charging my mobile phone on one of these. So will my son. In fact, he might use a USB-A. And we'll probably have something like the Steam Deck or some sort of console with us charging at the same time. So yeah, pretty decent charger. Now, as I say, I can confirm this has actually charged a device at 65 watts. And what I'll do is I'll overlay some b-roll just so you can see that just now i'll have to go make sure to discharge my products and here we go we've actually got a little tiny manual in here too would you look at that could it be much smaller uh it doesn't need to ask too much there you go it tells you the different types of outlets it can be used in which is great it tells you about two pole earth unearthed devices so that's things like you know you've got to be careful for laptops and things like that, take electric fans, electric shavers, typical USB devices, all it looks like very much like a PSP in that icon. But um, yep, how to use the adapter, well I've gone through most of the use, use cases there and where it's compatible with. How to replace the fuse, I showed you that as well. Oh, wow, I wasn't aware of the, US, the UK plug being used in so many countries. But there we have it. I tell you what, this, this adapter, would have been so handy for me a few years ago, but they didn't really exist a few years ago. But I am so handy. That's all I have to take. Packed away in this nice little padded case. So I don't have to worry about the pins coming out or getting pushed or a button on the side broken. Take this on holiday. That's all I'm going to need. That and a couple of cables and the devices themselves. Doesn't get much more pocketable than that. And I am planning to try and travel as light as possible this year. So I'll give you some feedback as I use this out in the field. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.